Hi, this is my cord reel. I've had this cord reel for about three years now. I usually keep it in the garage. Today I'm in the basement, just kind of working down here. And it actually works great. It is simple plastic, uh, as you can see. It is very lightweight, but it has only little holes in it. But it's structurally pretty sound. I can jiggle it around, it's not gonna fall apart. Again, I've had it for about three years. I typically use it outside when I want to go around the lawn and uh, I have an electric hedge trimmer and electric, uh, I had an electric mower for a while, electric dethatcher, I've had all those things. This is what I use for it. I use this to kind of carry my cord around and then I go ahead and use the tools and I roll it back up. I'm gonna show you how that works in a second. One thing about this, this is a very value-based, very simple tool. Uh, it is just plastic and it just has a cord, that's it. The other part of the cord is way on the inside there. In fact, let me see, we can see it. It's actually right there, there it is. So I have to go ahead and unroll it to be able to plug this thing in. I'm gonna go do that now. Take the cord and walk away. So here I am, I'm almost at the end of my cord. I pull it out and there we go. And this is how it fits in there. There's a little hook, pop that out. There's a little plastic tab, there you go, you can see it. The cord just goes underneath there, and then you go ahead and reel it back up. I'll show you how to reel it back in. Uh, you can largely let this sit on the ground and you can pull the cord out to where you have to go. Towards the end, it does get a little light and start wiggling. What I typically do is I use a landscaping stone or a brick, and I'll place it here, and that'll keep it in place as you pull the cord out to where you have to go. I'm gonna go ahead and roll it back up. And I'm gonna roll it back up with the end in here. Uh, I think this will go halfway through, put halfway into the cord, put the halfway point in and roll it back up. Uh, I don't like doing it that way. I think it's just a preference. I don't like actually finding the halfway point of a cord. So there we go. This is the side that would go into the plug normally. So I'm gonna just kind of pull that down so it's about right there. Now, another trick, I'm gonna put my foot on the base of it. Now, I can go ahead and roll it up just fine. I'm gonna hold one hand here, and I'm just gonna turn. I use my, in this case, my right hand as my crank, my left hand as my guide, and I just pull it in, and I go back and forth, and you can see it's going in fairly straight. I just go back and forth, kind of feed it in as I need to. As long as you keep your foot on it, it's nice and simple. It's fairly smooth and fairly fast. Uh, I like this better than the whole wrapping up method around your arm. I purposely got this reel just for this cord because this cord is long. I believe it's 100 foot. And I got tired of sitting there and spending 10 minutes wrapping it up only to end up having it kind of a rat's nest of a cord. And so here we are, we're done, and I usually just go ahead and just wrap it under one, if that, and I'm done. There you go. The weight will be based upon the weight of your cord. Again, this is 16 gauge, I believe it's 100 feet, uh, and it fits fine. It's a great little cord reel. I would highly recommend it if you need something to carry cords around, you work outside, you work in a basement, you just want something to kind of store it and carry it around. Uh, this is silly, but I really love the color. I've seen black cord reels, but black cord reels get lost. The bright orange cord reel, I can always spot it on my shelf. So yeah, I highly recommend this.